A barge is 45 meter long, has a uniform transverse cross section throughout, which consists of a rectangle above a triangle. So this is a rectangle here, and this is a triangle. The rectangle is 8 meter broad. So let me do the marking here. 8 meter broad this way and 4 meter high. So this is 4 meter. The triangle is apex downward. Well, this is the apex and the apex downward. 8 meter broad, the same length. Okay, we can mark here. 8 meter broad and 3 meter deep. So this one is 3 meter. If the displacement of the barge, which is given 16200 ton, find the position of its COB with reference to the keel and also with reference to the after end, if it is upright and on an even keel in fresh water, the length is 45 meter. You can mark like this. This is 45 meter this way. Now let's look at this transverse cross section area. The water line can be here or it can be here. Now if we look the shape carefully that this distance is 3 meter and this is 4 meter, the water line has to be somewhere between the two. So obviously this is the correct water line. Okay, so just let me mark here. The water line has to be above this triangle and suppose this distance is x. I need to find this area, area of rectangle and this is very simple, area of rect rectangle is 8x, 8 is the length and x is the height. Similarly, we need to find area of triangle this triangle let me just use another marking area of triangle we know the area of triangle is what base half into base again 8 into height which is 3 so 2 8 is a 4 this is 12 so 8x plus 12 that is the total area of this shape right now, if I multiplied this area with the length, which is 45 meter, I get underwater volume. And this underwater volume, if it is multiplied by density, which is 1, I get nothing but displacement. Let me explain. The density is equal to mass over volume. So, mass is equal to volume into density. So here the volume is this underwater volume and the density instead of density I have taken relative density. Relative density of fresh water is 1. Now let's solve this problem and this displacement is already given. This is 1620. So 8x plus 12 into 45 into 1 is 1 is equal to 1620 1620 so now let's solve 8x plus 12 is equal to 1620 divided by 45 well we can use a simple scientific calci also here or normal calci so let's have this calci and this is 1620 divided by 45 so here I get 36 is equal to 36 now let me just remove this so 8x is equal to 36 minus 12 or 8x is equal to 24 this means x is equal to 3 meter so I have found that okay just let me remove that this distance is 3 meter now what we have to do we need to find the KB 
So now we have two shapes. One is this one, a rectangle. This is 8 meter and this is 3 meter. We know the KB of this will be somewhere here, which is 1.5 meter here. Right? And then we have another shape, which is 8 meter broad and this distance is 3 meter. The center of gravity of the shape it will be somewhere here, which is uh, two-third from apex. So two-third from apex, that means this is 2 meter. So this distance is uh, 2 meter, right? So I would name as B1. So this KB1 is 2 meter and this is B2. The distance of KB2, that means from keel to this B is going to be 3 plus 1.5. 3, 3 plus 1.5 is equal to 4.5 meter. 4.5 meter. Now, we need to take moment. Taking moment about keel. So, there is a standard table, the remark table. How we do it? We put it this way. That is, this is remark and we, take an, we can take the moment of area. So, let's put it this way. Remark, area, the distance, KB and then we write vertical moment. All right. So, let's play with this table. So, first remark, first area is triangle. And we know that area of this triangle, again, this is 8 and this is 3 divided by 2, that is 12. So, area is 12. Well, the unit, we should write the unit. The, the unit is meter square. The unit of KB is meter. The vertical moment is going to be cubic meter. And the KB is now, okay. KB1 we have to take which is okay which is here 2 meter all right so vertical moment the product of area and KB that is 24 similarly now let's take this rectangle portion if we take this rectangle the area of this rectangle is 24 and the distance from keel from keel is going to be 4.5 4.5 well the multiplication again i need to and the stool is uh, 24 multiplied by 4.5 so you get 108 108 now total total area just let's go up this way total area and this total area is going to be 12 plus 24 that is 36 and vertical moment is going to be 24 plus 108 so let's use the calc here 24 plus 108 so 108 is already there plus 24 that is 132 vertical moment total vertical moment let me just put it this way total vertical moment now the kb final kb final is going to be total vertical moment 132 divided by total area this is 36 and we know the unit here is cubic meter and this is meter square so we get only in answer get in meter so 132 divided by okay 132 divided by 36 give me 3.66 3.66 and i can round off 7 meter that is the kb and that is the answer also the second part is what is the lcb Let's go up here with this question. 
the second part find the position of its cob with the reference to the keel and also with the reference to after end with the reference to after end so after end total distance is 45 so if we look in this longitudinal direction it is going to look like this and total length is 45 meter so from here to here the geometrical center is going to be 22.5 See, suppose this is L and this is B or we can call it LCB is going to be 22.5 meter and KB 3.667 meter.